Hey everyone, this is the Loose Cannon, David McBee, and we're getting ready to start up with our third matchup of the night, and I'll tell you what, this is gonna be a slobber knocker right here. We got Jody Marshall here with us from Leopard Sports Media. Third game of the night, Jody, and this one's gonna be a battle. They just keep getting better and better every game. Tonight's matchup will be the Yeovil Summit Lady Panthers versus the Connor Lady Warriors. Yelville with a victory the other night, winning it in the final second with a free throw. There's number one, Abby Methnan, who's had such a tremendous season for the Lady Panthers. Number two, Camber Gibson, who's also the guards for this Yelville squad have just been uh, hard to handle. Number four, J.C. Davenport, who recently came back from an injury. Number 10, Kaylee Martin. And number 12, tough as nails, tougher than a $2 steak. That's K.J. Moore to round out the starting lineup for the Yellville Summit Panthers. You know where you won't find a $2 steak at? Where won't you find the $2 steak at? Can't tell you, but I know where you'll find a good one at. <laughs> That's there at Allen's Grocery. Oh, Allen's Grocery, the place to meet. That's right. So here comes the Cotter Lady Warriors, double zero, the senior Candace Lambert. Number two, Becca Benedicts had some big games down the stretch for the Lady Warriors. Number four, Morgan Zick had a huge game in the, when these teams played on Saturday. Number 11, Tyler Coots. And number 24, Kate Cheek rounds out the starting lineup. Yellville's coached by head coach Hunter Sims, of course. Cotter coached by head coach Jared Wilhite. These teams finish number two and three in the 2A conference. Cotter Lady Warriors will be in the home team tonight in the white uniforms and the Yellow Summit Lady Panthers will be in the road green. We're about ready to get it tipped off. Kate Sheik will jump for Cotter. And she's gonna be jumping against number two, Cambry Gibson. Gibson again, she had a monster game the other night in their one point victory and Cheek wins the tip and here comes Lambert and we're off third game of the night right here on TLSN. First two games were good. Shot up there by Cheek. She gets the Lady Warriors rocking and rolling. Cheek with the first bucket of the game and here come the Lady Panthers. Gibson's gonna set up offense. She's got Martin and then of course, number one, Abby Methvin. Of course, these teams very familiar. They played last Saturday. We covered their game on the TLSN. Yellville had a nine-point lead going into the uh, late in the third quarter. Cotter fought back and took the victory. Nice move by Gibson. And Yellville strikes right back. We're two to two, Jody. Yellville in a full court press. See where Cotter goes with this one. They'll try to bring it up the floor, and they do. As Lambert gets it across, Benedict gets it over to Coots. Trying to find Cheek in the high post. She can't, so they'll bring it back out front. Lady w Warriors will have it on the right side. Thought about a three-point shot, pass it up. Number four, Morgan Zick had a huge game the other night. Uh, the speed, Zick and Gibson, the two fastest players. To the lane, shot up, good. Coots with the bucket. Nice stutter step right there by Coops. And of course, you know, they can't see the gym on this side, but this place is packed. People ready to make some noise. Yellville and Cotter, they come out strong for their fans here. Well, I see a lot of Panther fans right here in front of us. I see a little bit of blue down in the corner. I don't think the Panther fans are listening to us right now. They're focused in on this game. Yeah, I think everyone's going to be watching this game close as Methman goes inside to Davenport. Davenport back out to Martin for three. No good. Cheek will get the rebound. She Outlet pass the to the speedster, Zick. Little strong. And that was the play that killed Yellville the other night, or the other morning. We played at 9 in the morning. Oh, my. Was <laughs> Zick. <laughs> I did the game. I don't remember it very well. I was half asleep, but uh, it was, from the video I watched, the replay, it was pretty exciting, so. Three-point shot out front by the Panthers, no good. 
Lady Warriors will get the rebound. Methan shot in and out. Nice stroke there by Methan. Hit every part of the rim, but didn't go down. Trying to pass down low. Shot up off the glass, good. Lambert with the good move. Buckets good for Cotter. Now they jump out six to two in the first couple minutes. You guys take a moment down in the comments. Let us know who you're cheering for and rooting for this evening. In the comments, let us know. We want you to be as active as possible here on Twin Lakes. Yeah, I want to know which fans, who are you cheering for? Are you cheering for the Lady Warriors or are you cheering for the Lady Panthers? Come on, fans. Let's see who's watching more online. Martin thought about it, holds it back up, sets it back up for meth then. Gibson last the other night, uh, just so much, so many penetration moves. I mean, she was taken into the hole and uh, just really ended up impacting the game. We got some Warrior fans already chiming in. Where are you at, Panther fans? Oh, you got Nathan Sumo Rogers saying go Panthers. So as Davenport tries to force it into Martin, Martin keeps it alive to Gibson. Gibson drives. Sets it back up. Three point Method shot. for downtown, nothing but net. That was a pretty shot. And she goes three cola from outside. And that brings the Panthers within one. Cotter will have the ball in the front court as they'll go to work here this evening. Left side they go, looking for the cutter as they go through, spin move. Kick back out. She'll set it back out front. Right side. The senior cheek working on, I believe, the sophomore, K.J. Moore, but Moore doing a good job staying in front. Ball was deflected out. It'll stay with the Lady Warriors. So I'm saying go Warriors, go Panthers, go Warriors. Let's go Yellville. It's back and forth online. We love it. That's the way we want it. All those people, guys, everyone watching right now, if everyone could just hit that share button on the device they're watching on, let's get this game out here. Let's get some viewers because you know Cotter Yellville is going down to the wire. I, I feel bad for asking this question, but these are both what, Marion County teams? Actually, uh, Cotter is Baxter, so, okay, so by, by uh, you would say maybe a quarter of a mile, just basically the river. Well, I, <laughs> so I'm just saying I think there's more than Marion County. There's more people than... Watts watching, so you need to be sharing, getting this out there. Especially, I know there's more than 100 people in Baxter County as well. We got a jump ball. It'll go back to Yellow. As uh, Coots talking to the ref, I think uh, there's a slick spot on the floor. Safety is at the utmost important for sure. As these teams are both going to go hardcore, this is going to go down. These teams always go down to the wire. So, And this is just number three of four, of course, after this. Uh, wow, we've got a turnover violation right there. She jumped the line. And that's actually, that happened last night. Yellville did that last night. So two nights in a row with the turnover on the inbound pass. I know that's something Hunter Sims does not like. That That's something many coach don't like. Cheek tries to... Power way in there, and she ends up throwing it away. Oh, that was good defense by number 12, K.J. Moore, who the other night, K.J. Moore played very aggressive for the Lady Panthers. She's really stepped her game up in district. Davenport off to Moore, back out to Methvin. And there's Decker. Decker, she has just brought some electricity from the bench on the defense and offense. Now steal by the Warriors. They'll try to push it up the right side. One on one, and there's a foul right there. Oh, uh, they said she carried with a basketball. Yeah, they got Benedict with the carry. Hey, I'm excited to see the hustle. You know, I don't have a dog in this fight. And this is a good basketball game, though. This is a good one to watch. Yeah, this is going to be a good one. Is now Methvin. Cotter doing a good job on Gibson. As Gibson tries to get inside. They go back out to Decker. She swings it into Gibson. There you go, the speedster up and under. Beautiful move by Gibson. And now Yellville back up one. And the Panthers with some man-to-man -man kind of full-court pressure right here. 
Now they'll switch back off to his own. Lady Warriors will try to bring it out, try to screen off the high screen. Three-point shot, good. There's Benedict from way downtown. And now it's a two-point game. Caught her back in front is Methvin. You know, I see, I see both teams giving it all they got right here. This means a lot to either one of them, you can tell. Well, Davenport looking to drive, gets it in, down low to Martin. Martin's wrapped up by Cheek. Cheek forces the turnover. Cotter, or KJ Moore, number 12, sorry. Cotter will have the ball, bringing it over on the right side. And we've got an offensive foul. That's going to be on Lambert. That's her first. Right now, that is the first foul of the entire first quarter. So a, a super fast moving fast first quarter here. They've been that way all night. Which, yeah. Yeah, 122 to go now as Methvin sets it up again for the Lady Panthers. And I hear too, they're gonna be watching this game at Carolyn's Razorback Ribs in uh, Yellville on the big screen, so. Awesome, under again, she lays it up and in. That's twice she's done that move. That is a beautiful move up and under. Well, Gibson, so far in this uh, district tournament, you know, you call her butter right now because she has just been on a roll in district. They get it off to Benedict. Benedict thought about it from outside. Get, swings it into the senior Coots. Coots over to Massey. Massey's shot is short. Methman gets the rebound and now she's pushing the pace. She looks up the floor. Cheek steals it. They'll try to push it. Uh -oh. Methvin with an incredible steal. Beautiful dish it down to Gibson. With quick hands by Massey. 20 seconds to play here in the first quarter. She steps out of bounds. It'll go back to the Lady Warriors. Nine to nine here in the early going. This is an awesome game so far. High energy. Lady Warriors will inbound. They've got 15 to play. She gets it across the half court line. They'll have a high screen on the left side. Thought about a three point shot. Passes it off to Cheek. She spins in the lane. She's fouled. 4.1 seconds. So now Cheek's going to go to the line. It was during the act of shooting. As they call it on number two, Gibson. That's her first. So right now, a neck and neck first quarter. Both of these teams battling. Trying to get to the. Uh, Messed it up. I was gonna. I was about to show you a post. Apparently, we have Paul George watching us. I was hoping maybe it was Paul George from the Clippers, but oh, <laughs> well, at least say hi to Paul. Yeah, glad to have you joining us online, Paul. As the second free throw is up and in, she hits both of them, and that'll put Cotter up 11 to nine. We've got 4.1 seconds to play in the end of the first quarter. As fast as Gibson is, four seconds, plenty of time for them to get a shot here. She gets it across half court, cuts the defender up to the lane. She lays it in. Coast to coast, hits the bucket at the buzzer. Wow, what a play by Gibson. And at the end of the first quarter, we are tied 11 to 11. Then you couldn't ask for a better start to a basketball game than this. I mean, four girls, high energy, high octane, great defense. I mean, this game is shaping up to probably be one of the better ones of the whole district tournament. Well, this is our third game of four. Of course, we got another game after this. And uh, it's going to be flipping and Cotter and the senior boys to see who's going to the district championship. But these teams have both played back and forth. You had... You know, Yellville beating Cotter on their home floor. Then you had Cotter with the come from behind victory on their home floor against Yellville. And then, so this is the rubber match. This is the war to settle the score right now. Who's going to take it and who's going to the finals? I have a feeling this, gonna, this game may go into overtime. That's all I can say. Well, uh, Yellville's, our, their boys already went to overtime this week, so... Uh, we hope it ends up this way, but yeah, these two evenly matched teams, great crowds that have come out. This gym is getting packed. Lady Warriors will inbound the ball to start the second quarter. High screen by Cheek. 
Now we've got a traveling violation. That sure looks like it was a double dribble was the call on Lambert. So we've actually seen quite a few double dribbles tonight. Yep. Uh, and, you know, and also we've had a couple, you know, inbounds violations. And uh, Decker from downtown. There's Burrow with the board. Goes up. And she's fouled. In fact, they're going to call that a number 14 on Massey. Or no, they called that on Zick. So that's going to be her first. And uh, Burrow now goes to the line for two. First free throw a little strong. As a Joey, I'm looking over in the crowd. Uh, Burrow missed the second one. She gets the rebound. I see Lee Hudson over there. He's a big fan of ours. Uh, but I'll have to, we'll have to zoom in on him later because he's sitting like way away from the crowd. So I don't know if it's just it's so intense. He needs a little bit of room to breathe or... Uh, now we got a foul out front. On Decker through the Panthers. Right now just two fouls on each team. So Joey, we'll have to zoom in on him later. So uh, he looks, I'm sitting all the way over here. He looks pretty serious. So can you imagine what he'll be like when, during the senior boys game when his, uh, when his son's playing? So now we love Lee Hudson. Move to the inside, Decker gets the steal. Just give a shout out right there to Ann Thomas checking us out here on Twin Lakes. And we got a breakaway by Lady Warriors. They're trying to push it up. Panthers uh, get them stopped. Warriors will bring it out front. Now we got a turnover. Yeah, so now Yellville going to get the ball back. Panthers will have the ball in the front court. They'll go to work on the right side. Kick out, three-point shot, right side. In and out, no good. Moore, right. ha Moore had the rebound, but it just came out of, got, just lost control of the ball out of bounds, so now going to go to Cotter. As a Yellville looking to put on a little pressure. This worked the other night in their uh, come from behind victory. Benedict with a nice move. Couldn't finish a shot. There's Zick, misses it, gets the board again. Now we got a tie up situation. It'll go to Yebel. We played about two minutes here in the second quarter. Still tied up 11 to 11. Thank you all for checking us out here on Twin Lakes. Panthers with the ball. Pass over to the right side. Thought about a three. She'll dribble it up, pass to the, come back out. And now she's. There we go. Decker made the good move, just lost control of yep. the ball there. Three-point shot from the corner is short. Decker follows up on the shot, gets the rebound. Good play by Decker. I love that hustle. That's what you that's what it takes to win championships right there. Yeah, they always teach you you gotta follow your shot. Yeah, that is true. Gibson goes inside to KJ Moore, outside to Davenport for three. She got it! Nothing but net for Davenport. Beautiful shot right there. Cotter will have the ball. They're kind of double teamed, almost lose it. They get it across the timeline. They'll start to work right now at the top of the key. Right side, she'll go. Looking for Cheek down low. Try to squeeze it in there and they lose it. Panthers come up with it. Coots was wide open, but took a little bit too long getting the pass. Davenport gives it to Moore. Loose ball, Lambert on the floor. And we have a timeout by the Cotter Warriors. 30-second timeout. Great call there by head coach Jared Wilhite as we got a timeout on the floor. Right now, it's 14 Yellville, 11 Cotter here on TLSN. Thank a few of our sponsors, such as the Pharmacy at Flippin' Station. Check them out on Facebook or online. Also, Shark Creek Graphics, T-shirts, stickers, hats, banners, hoodies, license plate, Instagram and Facebook. And Black Sheep Smokehouse and Grill, famous for brisket, burgers, and more on the hill in Yellville. 
Check him out, Black Sheep. All right, after the timeout, Lady Warriors will have the basketball. Of course, the winner of this game comes back tomorrow night to take on the number one seed, the flipping Lady Bobcats. As Zick gets it across half court. Zick tried to get it to Lambert, off of Lambert to Coots. She swings it into Cheek. Cheek backing it down. Nice pass to a wide open. Oh, in Benedict and who misses it. Oh, man, that was so close. That was a great look. Davenport takes it to the hole, throws it up. Misses nope. it. Now Coots, outlet pass to Benedict. One-on-one -on -one fast break. She's driving to the hole, right side Euro step. Lays it up, no good. Panthers will come back. This is a back and forth basketball game. Fine. Player on the last side, they'll bring it back out. Three point shot. Good. Method from downtown. Man, the Panthers are up by six. You know what's even better? The Panther section is getting kind of loud and rowdy. Well, the Panthers, they've been like a car wash. They've been automatic from outside here in the Three second point quarter. Three-point shot, no good. Benedict had a good look, but now Methvin. She pushed up the floor, finds somebody wide open, but throws a little high and goes out of bounds. Gibson's got ups, but not that high ups. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole other level. We got another timeout. We played half of the second quarter. We got 347 left till halftime. Yell will sum it up, 17 to 11. Well, this is game number 11 in the last four days. We got one more coming after this, and this is a good one. Let's take a few more of our sponsors, such as Buffalo River Float Services, canoes, kayak, shuttle services, tubes, and more. I mean, I know it's cold out today, but just think, in a month or two from now, it's going to be time to float. Well, I mean, this weekend is supposed to be almost 70. I'm just... Yeah, Arkansas <laughs> weather, right, Jody? This is correct. Diatley Dental Care. We know where great smiles start. They start with Irvin and Christina Diatley, Mountain Home, Arkansas. Give them a call. And uh, just seeing this, Joey, I'm getting so hungry now. Letty's Fine Mexican Dining. All I got to say is get the Carmelita. The Carmelita there is absolutely epic. And the Carmelita was named after a good friend of mine, uh, Miss Carmen Pasillas. So got to give her a little bit of a shout out if she's watching online. I know she's watching online. She's, she's one of our biggest supporters, Joey. That is awesome. How about a shout out to Tammy Spears? She says, come on, Lady Warriors. Hey, Joey, your friend uh, Bill Morrison's online. Says, go Warriors. And Zick with the bucket out of the timeout. Connor needed that to try to get some momentum going again. Lady Panthers have the ball at the top of the key. They'll work from the left. Top the key, she stopped with her dribble, pass over the right side. Now she's looking to drive. Like you said, Lady Panthers here have been money on the long range shot. Now they're tied up down low, right side, three point shot. Little strong, ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Lady Warrior basketball. Well, good offensive possession. They had an open look there for Gibson. Just the shot did not go down. Panthers still in a full court pressure. Cotter inbounds the ball. And we have a traveling violation. So Cotter with the turnover and Yelvo getting the ball back. 258 here in the second quarter. I know I might get in trouble for this one. Just found out that the Lady Razorbacks lost to the Lady Gators in Florida down in Gainesville. Bucket is good. By number four, J.C. Davenport, and she has fouled on the play. So you said that was the Lady Backs? The Lady Backs, that is correct. As Davenport trying to complete the old-fashioned three-point play. And in and out it goes. Cheek gets the rebound for the Warriors. Warriors down by six. Ball on the left side. She'll try to go to work, try to find a girl down low. Out of bounds, turnover. It'll go back to the Panthers. Well, she had Zick down low, pass just a little bit off out of bounds. 
I don't believe this game's going to get too far out of hand either way. No, it's got, it, I'll go and tell you, this is going down to the end. It always goes down to the very end. And now Burrow over to Methvin. Methvin drives baseline. Skip pass, right side. Thought about three, passes it down low. Blocked by Cheek from behind. Warriors come up with it. They'll kind of walk it up the floor now. We've got 2.09 remaining before halftime. Cotter in the front court over to the left side, met with pressure. A good defensive play there by Cheek getting the block. Of course, the senior now getting close to 1,500 career points. Three-point shot out front. Good. Wow, that was a beautiful shot. Step back for the Warriors. Well, Benedict, Cotter needed that three to try to get some momentum back, and Benedict hits it. And now here come the Lady Panthers right back as Methvin over to Davenport. Davenport out to Gibson. Gibson goes baseline. Gets it back out to Burrow. And such great low scoring ball games. Who would have thought at halftime it'd be less than 20? You would, I mean, but the effort they're giving out, oh, you would yes. think it's 50 to 50 right now. Oh, yeah. With two seconds left to play in the ball game, they're not letting anything get by them. Either team, maximum effort. Gibson drives, finger roll, bucket's shot. good. Beautiful shot right there by Gibson. Connor will have the ball in the back court. Still met with pressure by the Panthers. They'll get it across half court. We've got less than a minute to play before halftime. Warriors with the ball on the left side. She finds Cheek, free throw line. She'll spin, move, kick out. She'll drive towards the hole to the right side. They'll bring it back out. Lady Warriors trying to find Cheek down low, and she's fouled. And that'll only be the second foul of the ball game for the As it's going to be on Burrow, that's going to be her first. As Martin comes out of the game, and Lambert now to inbound it. 40 seconds to go here in the first half. They try to lob it to Zick. Loose ball, Cheek comes up with it. She gets it over to Zick. Zick, Zick drives the lefty. Takes it, she's underneath the goal, Loose misses ball. the shot. Gibson gets it off, and here come the Lady Panthers with 30 seconds to go. Up the floor, they go right side, shot up off the glass, good. Davenport with a nice play. And now Yellville's lead has, has swollen to seven points here in the final minute of the first quarter, or first half, as huh? Lambert gets it to Zick. Zick, Cat. they're gonna get her with the travel. Cat. And she did right there. Had a player right in her way. It's caught her just some unforced errors here in the second quarter. And with uh, the three-point shooting of the Lady Panthers getting hot. Panthers will inbound the ball. We've got seven seconds before halftime. Gipton brings it across the floor. Loses it. Massey it. comes away with it. And that's going to be our first quarter, Jody. Our first half. Our first half. Yeah. I know it's such a good ball game so far, back and forth between the Yellow Summit Panthers and the Cotter Lady Warriors. It's hard to believe that first half, did, it's only 20 after. The game didn't start till five after. So you tell me that's how quick that was. That was right at 20 minutes. Fast moving first half. So, hey, everyone, we got eight minutes. Go get your popcorn, get your drinks, because second half, you're not going to want to leave the TV. Reach down and hit that share button for us, and we'll be back in about eight minutes here on TLSN.
Hey, Joey. Dave, what's up? This is Coach Musselman, Arkansas Razorbacks. Hey, I know you guys are huge North Central Arkansas basketball fans. And I uh, just wanted to thank you uh, for streaming high school sports for all the local stations in North Central Arkansas. I know you've done over 250 basketball games in the past three years as volunteers. Incredible uh, to volunteer all that time and energy and enthusiasm uh, to help youth sports. You've helped parents, grandparents, um, and just in general, um, especially during these COVID restrictions. So Dave and Joey, awesome work, man. Keep it up. Hey everyone, this is the Loose Cannon, David McBee, as uh, we're getting ready to come back for second half action here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. Uh, I want to give a shout out, one of our sponsors here, Old South Burgers and Barbecue, Food Trailer and Catering. Uh, tomorrow, I understand they're going to be at Wood Realty Company from 11 to 1.30. They got great burgers, great barbecue. Joey, I know you were talking to them earlier. Uh, they, tell us about some of the th different things they have. And Dave, she was talking about, uh, of course, full pork, but get this, ribeye, ribeye sandwich. She showed us a picture. Go check them out on Facebook. Food is amazing over there. And again, check them out tomorrow, Wood Realty, from 11 to 1. That's Old South Burgers and Barbecue. So, yeah, definitely have to check them out. Also, I want to give a... Uh a quick shout out to you. Uh, tonight we have Mr. Uh, Jody Marshall helping us here from the Leopard Sports Media tonight. And uh, Jody. Yes, sir. Appreciate you helping us out tonight. Tell us a little bit about Leopard Sports Media to all the fans out there. Well, for those of you that don't know Leopard Sports Media, we're just, we're just like Twin Lakes. We uh, support our Leopards. We're solely Alpina. We do girls, boys, basketball, volleyball, baseball, anything Alpina. So we're just we're just here supporting the Leopards. Well, I appreciate you helping us do these games. Any more, I mean, any time, man. I'd love to do more of them with you. Tell them to, uh, so all you fans out there, go out and check out that uh, Facebook. Check out them on Facebook, YouTube, subscribe on YouTube, and follow their Facebook page. Then every time you go live with a sports event, They'll get a notification that you're going live. That's true. Cotter will have the ball to start the second quarter. Actually, second third, half. Actually, yeah. third quarter. See, me and you. I, I know. It's been a long, fun night. I'm telling you. High school basketball. Cotter's shot up. It's rubbing off <laughs> on uh, me getting the quarters wrong. It's been rubbing off. Ah. Uh, Cotter kind of slowing the ball down. They have the ball in the front court. Right side, they'll dribble, penetrate, back out. They try to get it inside the cheek, the steal by Moore. He'll push up left side, lay it up off the glass, good. There's Davenport, gets the bucket. As a continuing the hot streak, a very tight first quarter is 11 to 11. Since then, it's been a 14 to five run for Yellville. Cotter tried to inbound the ball last time they did. The Panthers knocked it out. Still full court pressure. They inbound to Cheek. And now Coots going to bring it down. Gets it over the half court line. And the Lady Warriors is going to try to set up offense with Zick. She'll drive left side. Thought about it. Pulls it back out. Warriors still had a ball on the left side. Dribbling around. Back out front. Steal by the Panthers. That's Davenport. She's going to take it all the way for the bucket. Timeout. Cotter. I'm not sure that they come back out ready to play in the third quarter. Well, right now there's a green wave over here in Flippin' as a 16 to 5 run has made it an 11 point lead. Still a long way to go here in the third quarter, but Cotter giving up some easy buckets here in the third. 
That is true. Panthers have came out. Coach Sims made sure his team was ready to play, start the third quarter. Well, of course, Yellville, uh, this is their second game in the tournament. Cotter hasn't played since Saturday. They got a few days to rest. But right now, the uh, full court press has really changed the game for the Lady Panthers. But I know just like you do, this is a long way from being over. Yeah, we got a long way to go is here in the third quarter. Just, just about a minute and a half into the third. So yeah, long way to go. The other day, Cotter came back down nine. So these two teams, it'll be neck and neck down to the end. Oh yeah, skip pass. As Benedict, good defense there by Davenport. She's all over. Nice move by Benedict. Drive to the right side, shot up, no good. Panthers come up with the rebound. He'll push up the left side, try to go to work. Drives towards the hole. She'll come out on the right side. Cotter has made some good plays. They are just not finishing shots right now. Yeah. Drive to the hole on the left side. Shot up from the right side, no good. He'll get the rebound. No good. Panth the Warriors will come up with it. Coots gets the big rebound, and here we go. Lambert over to Zick. As the Lady Warriors have only scored uh, five points in the last 10 minutes. Needing a bucket to try to get some momentum back. Well, I've noticed one thing that they haven't done, and that's give the ball to Cheek right there. They haven't given it to her in a while. Sh layup, good. Morgan Zick with a nice play. As soon as they gave her the ball, Warriors scored. Of course, Zick can just be explosive. She can score points in bunches. She did it on Saturday morning against Yellville. Kind of Methin thought about it. She drives, gonna come back out. They get it to Gibson. This speeder explodes by Coots, but the pass was, was out of bounds intended for Davenport. She had the right idea, but it's just a little powerful. Cotter will have the basketball right there. Gibson by far is one of the uh, strongest uh, female basketball players in this two-way conference and fastest. I was going to say the quickest for sure from what I've seen. We got a foul down low. Player control foul, offensive foul. Looks like that's on Zick, so that's her second. And now Gibson and Methvin coming back up nine. Panthers with a the ball. They're kind of slow it down here. Warriors still in a 2-3 zone. Panthers on the left side, try to find down low, kick back out, three-point shot. She got it. Methin from downtown again. Cheek with the ball, they'll push up the left side, Cotter. Wow. The Good speedsters. Hustle. Good hustle by Gibson, that was... It is going to be out on the Panthers, but man, look at that hustle. I mean, she went, she gained real estate real quick. Gibson and Zick are the two fastest players. I would love to see them in a foot race. I'm sure they're going to be in track, so they might be at one of your events you'll be covering on track with Leopard Sports Media. I'd love to see them in a 100-meter dash. They can both flat out go. There goes the move. Lambert with the little hook shot. Rollers in and good. Panthers come back with a the basketball. They'll try to go to work on the left side, back up at the top of the key. Back to the right side, short corner, skip pass. Panthers working it around really good. Now they're gonna slow it down. Right side, thought about a three, but she traveled with a basketball. So right now, halfway through the third quarter, it's a 10 point lead. I have a feeling the momentum starting to swing back Lady Warriors' way. I have a feeling it's going to be a lot closer than this here before too long. The drive inside for Coots. Of course, the Lady Panthers just playing some great defense. Drive to the hole. Shot up. Good. Almost a carbon copy of her previous bucket. Now it's an eight-point game. And we got a timeout by Coach Hunter Sims. So yeah, he's going to talk that over. It's a little bit of a momentum shift there, like you called, Jody. It's a Yellville 30, Cotter 22 here on the TLSN. 
course, let's thank a few more of our uh, our sponsors here because we couldn't do this without them, such as Ozark Fireplace. Call Jeremy Heinrichs. He's a certified chimney suite. Check him out online, www.ozarkfireplace.com. Also, Premier Auto Interior, specializing in vinyl, velour, leather repair, dye processing, 15 years experience. You want your interior to look like the one on the right, not the one on the left. Just give Phil Hudnall a call. He'll get you all set up. But uh, Jody, right now, 332. This is game number 11, and appreciate Jody Marshall helping us out today. Also, Bob Rechtenwald, shout out to him with uh, XL7 Sports helping us earlier in the week. And uh, we'll be back again tomorrow night for the championship as business is starting to pick up over here at in Bobcat country. Panthers have the basketball now right side. Back up the top of the key. She'll look to dribble, penetrate, crossover, kicked out to the left side. Panthers still have the basketball, dribble towards the hole. Now she's trapped, kick out, three-point shot. No good. They'll get the rebound, no. Lady Panthers will set it up. Nathan did a great job. Gibson shot up by Gibson, good. Gibson just muscled that one in. She is firing on all cylinders tonight. She wants this. Both of these games have been down close to the wire. She's trying to ensure that Yeovil gets this W. We've got less than three minutes to play in the third quarter. Nice pass to a wide open Coots. Hits the bucket. Smart play there by Cheek with that pass. Drawing in the defense and left Coots wide open. Now a steal by the Warriors. I can feel the momentum shift back, Cotter. They'll get it across half court, and they'll start their offense right here, left side. She'll drive towards the hole, finds Cheek down low, shot up, good. As they finally get Cheek some space down low, great offensive set by the Lady Warriors. And now Cotter's clawing their way back as it's a six-point game. Yep. Oops, almost a steal by Cotter. And now it is, Cheek gets it. And now the Lady Warriors starting to get a little momentum in the last couple minutes here of the third quarter. As Lambert's pass stolen by Davenport. Push Over up to the Burrow, floor. back to Methvin. Shot up, a little strong off the glass. Kate gets the rebound. When they met in February, it was a six-point game also. As a foul on the play. So foul's gonna be on Gibson, that's her second. But right now only, basically we've had two fouls here in the third quarter, so. Yeah, we've got about 90 seconds to play. Cotter still down by six, still scrapping their way back in it with the ball. Of course, we just had someone point out to us too, every time they played, it's been a six point game. So yep. these teams, they, they play it tight. And this is the third, this is the rubber match. Each one has won one so far this year. But at stake right now is a berth in the Shot up. championship game. Cheek. Last touch by the Panthers. We've got a minute and two to play. Cotter will have the ball right in front of their bench. Well, they say that was out, out off of Decker, who's checked in the game. Over to Massey. Massey's got a one-on-one -on -one situation. Spin move. Shot up, no good. They got a foul on Massey. The Panther basketball. Right now, 58.1 seconds to go. And again, guys, all you fans tuning in, do, do us a favor, reach down, hit that share button, tag in a family member. Maybe there's a person you know used to go to Yelva or Cotter. This is their chance to watch the game. Also, if you haven't done it yet, make sure that you follow our Facebook page. Help us get over 4,100 followers. And also let us know who you're cheering for. We want to see it down in the comments. We want this to be as interactive as possible. We've got 35 seconds to play. Panthers with the basketball left side. She'll pull it back out, top of the key, looking for one last shot. Gibson's got it, left side. Crossover, kick out, almost loses, she does. Coots gets the steal, so now Cotter gonna bring it down for the final shot. 
as Decker, she is just all over Lambert, making her work down the court. Gibson with the steal. Gibson explodes, gonna take it in. And she does with five seconds left in the third. Connor has the ball, they'll try to dribble and that'll end the quarter. Panthers go back up eight, 34 to 26. We got one quarter remaining. Right now a eight point game. Of course, Yellville got up as much as uh, 13, started to pull away, but then Cotter started to inch back, but then a bucket at the end. But this is what it comes down to, eight minutes. Who wants to go to the championship game? Who wants to play flipping on their home court for the district championship? We're gonna find out that out in the next eight minutes. The only thing that I know that Cotter can improve on is stop with the turnovers. All right, I'm, we're getting a lot of comments online. We love it. We got uh, Heath Hudson. Uh, apparently, he's not liking the ref, and I think that's a uh, uh, that's great. He's one of the refs. Also, uh, Mike McNeil said, "What a fun game." Jennifer Boss, let's go Warriors. Thomas Stickles, good job, girls. Cambry, you are a, a powerhouse. Misty Allman, keep up the good work. Panthers, go Green. Go Sierra Burrows. Also, we got Ann Thomas saying, "Warriors, you can do this." Also, Carol Fawcett, go Warriors. Heath Hudson, he said, Old South are great people and great food. Remember, Old South Barbecue, Wood Realty, 11 to 130 tomorrow. And here we go, fourth quarter. It's the irresistible force versus the immovable object. Cotter and Yellville trying to get to the championship. Panthers have the basketball at the top of the key. Left side, they'll go. Thought about a three, pass over. Gibson dribble penetrates up under. She's blocked by Cheeks. Big time defensive play by the senior Cheek. And now Lambert. Nice move inside by Coots. Little jump shot. Shot up no good. Rebounded by the Panthers. Beautiful play. Shot was there. Just did, didn't make it. Yep. Panthers with the basketball now on the left side. She'll walk it up. Back out front, they'll go. Kind of trying to milk a little clock, and start working a little bit. We've got seven minutes to play in the ball game. Connor still up by eight. I mean, Yellow's still up by eight. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll stay here on this end. Well, online we got Bill Morrison said, "Hit those shots, Cotter." Of course, uh, Bill, Joey, that Bill, that or Joey, that's your friend Bill. So. So we always love having Bill Morrison on, on our games. Three point shot left side, good! <laughs> Methvin tonight has just been, dare I say, in fuego from outside. Cotter comes up the right side. She'll dribble, penetrate towards the hole, kick out right side. Goes towards the hole, shot up off the glass, no good. She gets her own rebound and she is fouled. It's like foul's gonna be on the floor. Let's see who they're gonna call it on. They're gonna call that number 10, Martin. So that's gonna be Martin's first. Right now, 11 point lead for Yellville. It's gonna, it's getting go time for Cotter. If they're wanting to climb back into this game, they're gonna need some buckets. Mike Davenport wants everybody to know that Yellville rules. Bucket there by Lambert. Pulls it back to a nine point game, 6.33. Methvin with a nice move inside, kicks it out to Burrow. Back to Methvin, over to Burrow in the corner. Burrow's gonna give it to Gibson. Now Decker drives, takes it in. They got a foul out front right there. It's gonna be on double zero Lambert. That's gonna be uh, second on Lambert. Now 6.17 to go. Panthers will inbound. Left side they'll go. They'll dribble out front, look to the left side, trying to find somebody down low, dribble penetrates. She goes under the goal, comes back out on the right side. Three-point shot out front. Good! Methvin again from downtown. I know Mike. That's at least the second one she's hit. Yelvil right now shot up off the glass. And the Warriors will take a timeout. 
the combination, Methvin and Gibson, and I think I said this earlier in the year, they got more chemistry than a periodic table, and tonight they have just tore it up. And right now they're about six minutes away from going to the championship game tomorrow. But I will tell you, Cotter has not given up. So don't count your chickens before the hatch. Yeah, definitely not over. I've seen these teams uh, battle back. It's still going to go down to the wire, but. I can't say pure hatred, but I can see pure hatred out there. Cotter's going to make some adjustments here, but the uh, momentum right now definitely. Abby Methvin with a huge game. Yeah. But still plenty of time left in this one, especially if it's Cotter and Yelville playing each other. As uh, again, thank you guys so much for uh, joining us all week long. This is game number 11. We got one more after this. Uh, it's going to be the flipping senior boys taking on Cotter. So Cotter's got back-to-back -back games. So the Cotter senior boys going to see if they're going to go to the district championship. And this game still to be decided. 5:51 to go. Panthers will now inbound the basketball. They'll bring it across the half-court line, deciding to go. Looking to go left, try to get their offense working. Gibson with the basketball, but now they pass over the right side, looking to dribble, penetrate. It starts with, uh, you know, it starts with defense. You got to stop. Yeah. If Carter wants to get back in this game, they got to make a couple stops. And they look like they're starting to put the pressure on them. Three-point shot out front. That's her third. Abby Methvin again from downtown is just taking over. In this second half, Cotter looking to push back the other way. Now they'll bring it back outside, trying to find Cheek down low, and she's fouled. Right now, 13 point game, 5.04 to go. Gosh, Methan has stepped up for sure and hit those shots when her team needed her to. Well, I last night it was Gibson that took over. Tonight it's Methan. Well, that right there means that's a good team because you got four or five players you got to stop, not just one. Now we got a traveling violation on the Warriors. And it's Cotter turnovers. Angela Arnold says, "Go Warriors!" Yeah, there's still time. There's still five minutes. That's a that's a that's a lot of time in the game of basketball. Oh yeah. But Cotter's got to start on the defensive side and get a stop. Now we got a foul out front on the Warriors. So foul on number two, Benedict. Like I said, if you guys want to, make sure to share this stream. Let everybody you know this is a great basketball game. It will finish up that way too. Shot up off the glass. No good. Cheek throws it ahead. And look at Gibson exploded down the court. The closing speed from Gibson to get back on that because they can fly. As it looked like it might have been a clear bucket for Cotter, but yep. good defensive play there by Yelville. Double teamed right there, shot up off the glass. Cotter gets it to fall. And that's what they need, a bucket from Coots. Now back within 11. Gibson now on the front court with the basketball for the Lady Panthers. Right side, she'll pull it back out. Nobody's really guarding her. They need to step up the intensity. She dribbles over the left side. Now she'll just kick it out. They're going to try to waste as much clock as possible if they're not going to get out and guard you. Well, and that that's who they want handling the ball is Abby Methan, who's had a monster game tonight. Yep. Methan does have the ball on the front court. High screen there by Gibson. Methan will drive to the right side. She'll bring it back out front. As Yelville doing a good job working off the clock and not just standing in one place nope. like our last game. Shot up. KJ Moore with the finish. Moore off the glass. And Whoa. now Yelville back up 13. Warriors with the basketball in the backcourt. Methan guards her full court pressure. Left side they'll go, trying to find somebody down low. Steal by Gibson, up the floor. Left side, Speaster, here she goes, and lays it off the right side. A little strong. 
Connor gets it back. They'll try to push left side. And yes. good play by Burrow coming from behind. Yeah, definitely. Panthers have the speedsters. Wide open, trying to find Cheek. Loose ball now. Jump, Jump. ball is going to stay with Cotter. And now 3.01 to go. It was an 11 to 11 game. Since then, it's been 34 to 21. Still, still time for Cotter, but they're going to have to move quick. Almost a steal by the Panthers. Cotter gets it back, front court. Trying to work their offense, left side. Finds cheap, free throw line, pass down low. Take, stolen by Gibson, she'll push it up the right side. Well, she's off to the races, right side, no foul. She hits the deck, Cotter comes up with it. Now Cotter will have it up on the left side. They'll try to go to work. We still got two and a half to play in the ball game. Lady Panthers, though, continuing to play aggressive on offense. They're not holding Cheek the ball. Finds player down low, shot up, good. There's Zick with the bucket. And that pulls Cotter back with an 11, 2.20 to go. Coach Sims calls the timeout. He wants every second he can get for his team. Get them a shot. Cotter will actually, if I'm not mistaken, that's going to be Cotter's last timeout. Well, we'll be back. We want, we're going to share a quick message from Coach Eric Musselman. Hey, Joey. Dave, what's up? This is Coach Musselman, Arkansas Razorbacks. Hey, I know you guys are huge North Central Arkansas basketball fans, and I uh, just wanted to thank you uh, for streaming high school sports for all the local stations in North Central Arkansas. I know you've done over 250 basketball games in the past three years as volunteers. Incredible uh, to volunteer all that time and energy and enthusiasm uh, to help youth sports. You've helped parents, grandparents, um, and just in general, um, especially during these COVID restrictions. So Dave and Joey, awesome work, man. Keep it up. All right, well, here we go. We're coming down the stretch. Right now it's 45 to 34. Still a lot of game left to play. Panthers have played really hard. So, so here we go. 2.20 to go. Yellville's got the ball, and they got it in the hands of Abby Methman, who's had a game to remember tonight. Cotter right now only has four fouls, so they're going to have to commit a couple fouls just to force free throws. I don't think Panthers are really looking to score unless they can. Gibson has the ball on the right side. She's just dribbling out. Now they do get pick up the foul. Got a minute and 49 to play. That's going to be fifth foul. We still got two before we get into the bonus. That's number three on Lambert. Gibson the inbound for the Panthers. They have the ball on the left side of the basketball. Cotter's trying to get up and double team. Gibson gets fouled. Right now that's gonna be foul number six. So, but the thing is, Jody, they've run off about 40 seconds off the clock. Yep. 137 to go. But the good news is nobody's in foul trouble yet. Uh, well, Lambert's got four. She so they actually sit Lambert down and they put in Jones number 23 as they get it off to Burrow. As uh, looks like a timeout on the floor, Coach Hunter Sims wanted a timeout. As Cotter now out of timeouts, Yellville's still got four left. Yep. So full timeout on the floor with uh, just under two minutes to go. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, thank a few more of our sponsors, guys, because we couldn't do this without them, such as Ashley Havens, location in Flippin' and Mountain Home, or online, www.ashleywhavens.com. Call her today, get your insurance quote. 
Taylor's Freeze Queen. You said that's the best ice cream around. Is that what you said? Best ice cream, best burgers. It is, uh, you feel like a king when you eat a Taylor's Freeze King. Also, Vance Vision Clinic and White River Optical Shop. Dr. Dustin Vance, who I really need to go see. I actually saw him Saturday night. Um, I was I was eating out with my wife Saturday night, and Dr. Dustin Vance was there, and I got a lot of grief from him. You know, he said, Dave, I know you're going blind. I listen to these games. You're getting the numbers wrong. Come on, come see me. Panthers with the ball out front. Method, who Gibson, and they foul her. She will go to the line now to shoot one and one. Well, they're going to sub Lambert back in, but yeah, one-on-one -on -one shot here. So really, Yellville a chance to almost put it out of the way if they can hit free throws here in the next minute and a half. Yeah, that's been the problem for Cotter, just not being able to produce on the offensive side. They've had good shots, just couldn't get them to fall. And there now Cotter gets the miss, so down 11. They're going to have to move quick. And they need buckets quick. Yep. High screen and a foul out front as she drives the hole. And right now that's just four fouls on Yellville. That's the third on Gibson. So Gibson right now the only player with three. They go inside to Massey, the turnaround. Shot. Hits the bucket. Shot up and good. Panthers have it, they'll walk it up. Here comes Cotter. Looking to try to foul double team. They don't get it. Now they do. As a, and that's who you want going to the line if you're Yellville is Abby Methvin because tonight she has just been on fire. But uh, it's going to be another one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Free throw is good. Back to a 10-point lead for Yellville. And I know this. both of these teams have a couple seniors. I have loved covering them. And uh, you know, these, these teams over the years have just had some great games. She gets them both. Cotter now with the basketball with a minute three to play. They'll bring it up in the backcourt. Met with pressure. Picks up her dribble left side. She gets the ball at the top of the key. She'll drive towards the hole. Charging foul. So ball, great defensive play there by Yellville. Ball back to Yellville. Right now 47 to 36. That's number two on Cheek. And of course, uh, Cotter won the uh, play-in game, so they're already going to regionals. And now Yellville's looking to go to the district championship, so. Yeah, the next question is who will they play? And we'll find that. Actually, we know that now. They played earlier today. Yeah, they're gonna, the Lady Bobcats, the flipping Bobcats will take on the winner of this game. And Yellville's right now 47 seconds away from victory. Gibson at the line for free throws. Still in the one and one. Yeah. Uh, two oh, no, shots during the penalty, so. I apologize. Yeah, they're in a the double bonus now. Yeah, so, uh, but any point here is going to make it difficult for, for Cotter. Second free throw is good by Gibson. Cotter with a basketball in the backcourt. And Cotter's going to have to hurry. They're struggling just to get the ball past half court. We've got 40 to play. Spin move, cheek high screen, left side. Thought about a three, passes it up, goes to the right side, finds cheek down low. She's double teamed, shot up. Nice look to Zick. That backdoor play has been there a lot for Cotter tonight, but down 12 with 10 or 17 seconds to go. Cotter commits the foul. But barring a uh, Reggie Mi Miller uh, from the 1999 playoffs, it's going to be a, a big uphill climb right here. They're going to need some luck and some missed free throws if Cotter can get back into it. Well, there's the first missed one. Maybe Gibson will get the second one. 
We've got 17.7 seconds left. She misses that one as well. That's all right. Panthers come down with it. And KJ Moore with the rebound. And now Cotter commits the foul with eight seconds to go. But that should seal the deal right there as the Lady Panthers on Saturday, they, it was a play on play out, play in game for regionals. The winner goes to regionals. They ended up losing that game. Uh, they had a nine point lead, but then here in district tournament, they get their revenge with eight seconds to go right now up 11. So a, just a tremendous performance by the Lady Panthers tonight in a hard fought game by the Lady Warriors. And the Lady Warriors season is not done yet. Now they will both, both of these teams will go into Eureka. That's where the 2A regional will be. So congratulations to the Yellville Summit Lady Panthers. They take the victory 50 to 38 as Abby Methnan, Amber Gibson, just more tremendous games here at the district tournament. And the Lady Warriors still going on to regionals, but the Lady Panthers, we'll see them tomorrow night. It's going to be Flippin versus Yellville, and that should be quite a game here on the TLSN. And also, I don't want anybody to forget, we still got one more game left to go. Let's we'll take a moment for a prayer. Yeah, we've got one more night cap to go. One more high school boys game. So, okay. guys, all those people tuning in, I know there's a lot of you online right now. Uh, we're actually going to close this stream out. We're going to open up a new one that has the last game. So, don't panic when you see this close. Uh, we got about 10 minutes till the start of the senior boys game. But stay tuned right here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network.